welcome to Long's Toys. Today we're taking a look at the DX Authorized Buster from Kamen Rider Zero One. As you can see here, it is primarily used by Vulcan and Zero One in their Assault Wolf and Shining Assault Hopper forms, respectively. It has an axe mode, it has a gun mode, uh, and it really... There's a lot of functionality with this that it actually really impressed me. I think this one's going to be a lot of fun. So, uh, very fun, colorful front of the box. I like that quite a bit. This side you can see Assault Wolf using it in the gun mode. And on this side you can see Shining Assault Hopper using it in the axe mode. Not too much going on down here on the bottom of the packaging. But spin it around. And again you can just see Shining Assault Hopper with the axe. Assault Wolf with the gun. Makes sense. And then it just shows you how to use it with progress keys. Which of course we'll take a look at. Does need two AAA batteries, as you can see right down there. Otherwise, that's going to do it for the packaging. So I'm going to go ahead and get it out of there, and we'll take a closer look. So here it is out of the packaging, and one thing I will say right off the bat, I like that it sits flat. As I knock it over, but seriously, it does sit flat very easily. I appreciate that. It makes it nice uh, when you want to display it on a shelf or something like that. Very cool. Uh, second thing I will say, I really like the color scheme. I think the blue with kind of the fluorescent yellow highlights. You got a little bit of gold, a little bit of red, black, silver. All the colors really gel well together. You can see you got some more fluorescent yellow, mostly black on this side. Here's your speaker. Here's your on and off switch. This little button right here is the release when you insert a progress key into the top here. Trigger button. And then this is where you would put the two AAA batteries that it needs. So... It's cool. Definitely a fairly decent size. Most uh, Japanese roleplay toys are fairly tiny, but I feel like this is actually pretty decent size. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to turn it on here. Authorized Buster. Like most weapons, it says its name, Authorized Buster. It is in gun mode, so I'll hit the trigger. Pretty generic blaster fire there. Hold the uh, trigger down. Does nothing, just the trigger sound, <laughs> nothing exciting there. Uh, let's see, next we'll show off the axe mode because that's pretty much it for the gun on its own. We will press inside here, actually this button inside the barrel. You press down and then that will loosen this so that it can flip around. You can hear it says axe rise. Now the funny thing is, it really doesn't matter what position the handle is in if you hit the trigger now. You're going to hear kind of clanging sounds, but you're going to press this in right here, and that's going to let you rotate the handle up. But the handle has no bearing. You could use the gun with the handle straight. You could use the axe with it in the gun handle configuration. It goes completely off this piece to tell you which sounds you're going to get. So, so again, nothing there. The other thing that I think is amazing is you can tell... It took me a second to realize it, but this is a grasshopper. Here's the eye, here's the antenna, here's the legs. So there's a grasshopper across the axe blade there, which I think looks really cool. <laughs> I mean, it makes total sense. Um, now it makes me want to go back and look. Is this supposed to look like a wolf? I don't really get a wolf from this. Like, it's definitely his color scheme, but... Uh, I don't really see a wolf head. If someone sees it... I guess tweet at me or something, but I don't really see the wolf head, but I definitely see the grasshopper. And I love it. Uh, first of all, I just love fluorescent yellow and black are just colors that go really well together. And it kind of makes sense because the axe configuration is primarily used by Zero One. The gun configuration is primarily used by Vulcan. It makes sense with their motifs, but uh, pretty cool. And you also heard there the gun rise, axe rise when you switch back and forth. And again, holding the trigger button down does nothing. So uh, we'll go ahead, we'll start with the axe, and we'll get into some of the more functionality that these have. All right, so first things first, uh, this is not a reader. It is not a reader of progress keys. All it does is have a button on the inside, that fluorescent yellow button way down in the back there, which gets depressed when you put a progress key in. So you could put your finger in there and it would give you the same result. Uh, it doesn't matter what progress key you use because, it, you know, the 
the uh, Shining Hopper or Assault Wolf do not produce any different sounds than just any run of the mill. It's just using the magnets to set these things off. So just want to get that out of the way first. So that is your normal axe sound. We'll go ahead and we'll pop in a progress key. Okay, so there's your first attack sound. Come around to the back and there's this little button right here. You just push that in, lets you take the progress key out. Next thing you can do is actually use the reader on the front here. And I say reader, I mean there's a magnet here to detect it, not that it actually knows which one you're using. What am I doing? Do I have it upside down? No, I don't think so. Maybe I do. So there you go, there's another sound. Another cool thing you can do, um, first off we'll show, we'll show this. You bring in the zero one driver. Now it doesn't matter if you have the driver turned on even, or it doesn't matter if you have a key inserted or not. Again, it's just using the magnet from here, but you can actually line this up so that it was pretending like this was a key. So you can just bring this in. And there you go. Now you can actually put a progress key back in here. Progress key confirmed. Ready for buster. Then use a second progress key. Buster authorized. And then it'll kind of do both together. Similarly, you can leave that inserted in there and then bring the driver back in. So it's kind of neat. It's kind of like stacking sounds. You know, you can do the buster, you can do the bomber, you can do the zero one, or you can do all three or combinations of the two. So it's kind of neat. Although I don't think you can like put one here and then scan the driver, but we can try it real quick. Always upside down. Yeah, so basically you can't scan here with a progress key and then with the driver it doesn't stack, but you can scan here with a key in there or scan with the driver with a key in there. All right, so now we're going to see all that again, but now in the gun mode. So you have your just boring trigger button. Go ahead and insert the progress key. Then we'll go ahead and take this out and read it on the front. Then we'll read it on the driver. And then we'll put the key back in. Progress key confirmed. Ready for buster. Buster authorized. 
I really like the standby music. And then we'll try it on the driver. So I think that's pretty cool. I mean, I feel like that's a decent amount of functionality for this toy. And I really like all the sound effects. I can't decide if I like the axe or the gun better. Uh, as far as sound effects go, but they're both pretty excellent. I actually really like this a lot, uh, even more than I thought I was going to. I always thought it was neat. You know, it has kind of a cool uh, gun blade kind of thing going on. Very similar to, or I should say reminds me of, like uh, Final Fantasy VIII, something like that. Or just kind of like, uh, honestly, it's giving me like Mac from S.H.I.E.L.D.'s uh, shotgun axe <laughs> vibes as well. <laughs> <laughs> have to reference Mac from S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, but yeah, it's a cool weapon. I think the color schemes are really cool. I've always liked the color schemes for Assault Wolf and Shining Assault Hopper. Just kind of the blue with the fluorescent yellow and the black. A little bit of red and gold tossed in. It's just a really neat color scheme. And I think the gun mode looks great. I love the axe mode with the grasshopper across the blade. I think that's a really nice touch. Um, and there's just a ton of functionality in this thing. I mean, when, uh, looking at the directions, both versions the axe and i should say modes not versions both modes the axe and the gun have like six possible combinations that you can do you know there's the normal just gun sound with the trigger there's progress key inserted progress key red on the outside uh driver red on the outside driver on the outside with the key inserted and then uh key on the outside with another key inserted so that's six possibilities per mode, so a total of 12. That's a pretty decent amount of playability and sound effects for one toy. Uh, so I, I'm pretty impressed by that. And I, like I said, I think both modes work. Uh, it's a decent size. It's not overly short like most uh, Toku Japanese roleplay toys are. So I'm pretty impressed with this one. I like it a lot, and I definitely recommend picking it up. But, uh, I mean, if you wait for a sale or something, there probably will be a sale on HLJ at some point. Roleplay weapons don't always fly off the shelves. Although, I've got to be honest, I don't even know if this is still available on HLJ. I would assume it is, because they don't, again, roleplay weapons don't usually... Well, I mean, with the exception of, like, main drivers and things like that. Um, especially since there's no key packed in with this. I, I mean... I'm glad when they don't pack a key in because it doesn't force people to buy a thing they don't want to get the key. But sometimes it's exciting when you get a cool weapon with a new key that's exclusive because it's just like an added bonus. So if you were going to buy it anyway, it's fun to get the key. But if you weren't going to buy it, it's not nice to have the key locked in it. So I can see both arguments there. But uh, overall, I think it's a pretty cool weapon. I think it's worth checking out if you wanted to wait for a sale so much the better. But yeah, that's going to do it for this one. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.